Hey guys, welcome to the Jenkins Mastery for the Software Tester series. And in this video, a very quick video, I'm going to show you uh, if you are getting a error like uh, NVN not found error. Okay, so uh, agenda will be how to fix this NVN not found error in Jenkins. Okay, uh, what is the problem statement? Problem statement is basically we are running a Maven project, but we don't have a Maven installed in our machine right now. And uh, also, where, uh, for example, uh, if it is installed in our machine, but Jenkins doesn't know about it, right? So that's what we want to do. And the solution is very simple. I'm going to show you first the problem statement. For example, this is a project where I have used uh, one command. If you see, build environment, I go to build. I am using MVN clean test, right? This command is working on my uh, parent, uh, I mean, in normal if you see bash, but it will not, uh, for example, if I do NVN command, right, it is working fine for me. But uh, let's do one thing. Let's run it on the Jenkins now, this build. Okay, no Maven project, uh, build now. And uh, here you will see a error, cross error, and which basically said MVN not found, right? Uh, so this is happening because Jenkins doesn't know about the Maven is, is installed in your parent machine on. So what you can do is very simple, go to dashboard, uh, go to manage Jenkins, go to glo global tool configuration. So now you have to tell specifically uh, to Jenkins, where is your Maven installed? Or if you don't have installed, uh, where you have to use it? Suppose you are getting the same error with the JDK or Java not installed. You can use this function uh, option, which is basically installing a JDK. You can name this, for example, I'm just naming it as a JDK only. Uh, you can pass the Oracle username and password and you can create a free account and click on save. Similarly, go down and here you will see a bunch of options like you can uh, give the name of Git also, you can give the add Gradle also, Ant also. So go to Maven installation, click on add and uh, make sure it is installed automatically. You can select, uh, for example, let's Maven 2, right? And here you can mention which version you want to install, okay? And click on save, that's it. Now, what you need to do is go to dashboard and uh, go, go back here. And here in no Maven, we need to change the configuration now, right? Uh, so instead of running the, by using a execute shell, now we have a very interesting option, which is directly running via top level Maven target. Okay. So now we can mention Maven 2 and here you can mention the clean and test command. Okay, and it will run, but you have to have a project. So you need to mention the pom dot uh, XML for this. Okay, where is your pom dot XML? So uh, let's do one. Th I think it is available somewhere. So for example, this is the project that we have. Uh, okay, Jenkins Docker. Give me one second. Where is my instead of Docker? Let me get get this from the uh, another job. Okay, so again we'll open the local host 8080. This is the job where we have added the exec pom.xml. I'm just going to copy this right here. Uh, go to this and here, right? Uh, click on copy. And in the no maven, uh, we are saying that this is the project. Paste, right? And click on save. Now if you do a build now, it will run a clean build basically right uh click on this let me cut back and let's click on this right and it will basically if you see if you run it for first time it will install the maven and after that it will run the command okay and let's wait for a few seconds it will basically just installing the maven uh because we have uh, used uh given a maven too that's why because uh if you have selected the previous one that was already installed and downloaded, so there is no need of unpacking in this case. But this is just a first first time process where uh, it will basically install. Okay, and if you see uh, everything work, uh, there is a auto install of uh, is accept is required. Basically, our command is working fine, uh, but the JDK is not working on this case because JDK uh, JDK needs a username and password. So as of now, I'm gonna do one thing: go to global configuration and uh, jdk installation i'm gonna delete this i don't want this as of now delete the installation okay. delete this jdk because my J jdk is already installed uh prop properly on my machine so there's no need and uh 
I mean, it will run again if you see, right? Right now we have added specifically. Uh, go to configuration. Uh, right. And yeah, top. So you can select Maven also. And we are just running a clean, clean build on the this file, right? And just run it. So this is just a Maven goal we are running, which is Maven clean. That's it. And again, it's just failing. Let's see what is it is. Uh, it's just giving us a JDK error. But right now, if you see, uh, it will pass uh, just uh, after some time. There's no need for that. Okay. Uh, so that was it. That was about it. And uh, if you want to see directly, I think I have added here. Yeah. Uh, so Maven build, uh, you can run it directly. Okay. So that was it. And it will fix that solution for you. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that's uh, that will solve your problem of MBN not found and JDK not found. You just need to enter the username and password of JDK also and it will automatically download and do it for you. Okay. Okay, so similar thing I am showing you in the windows, uh, which is here I have added the Maven now successfully. If you see uh, Maven clean and I've added the pom.xml also in the hello world, I have changed it. Now if you run it, uh, and also JDK credentials I have added on Windows. So that's why it's working fine here. And you will see a success build. Okay. So that was how to fix the ambient command.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you are interested in learning full Jenkins, make sure you watch out the uh, playlist section for this uh, full video. We have covered uh, lots of days. Uh, we have covered uh, basically on a mission to Jenkins mastery of for software tester as well as for developer. Okay. Thanks a lot. This was Pramod. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.